Hey planner friends, it's Nia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a plan with me in my Erin Condren Life Planner. And this is for the June Month to Glance along with the notes page and dashboard. So this spread is overdue because we're already um, well into the first week of June. In fact, the first week of June is over. Um, but I just have not had time with so many different things going on. So I am going to just jump into it today. I have a sticker kit from Beautiful Planning, B-E-A-Y-O-U, Tiffel. And there's the name of the shop there. They're on Etsy. This is a printable kit. I also have um, a corresponding notes or dashboard page kit as well so we're going to see how we're going to use that and um so i've got some a ton of different sheets for this kit so we're going to use this mermaid theme i had planned to do all things like mermaid ocean blue um, for the month of june because it's my favorite color and um I had pre planned a little bit in my daily and in my um, skinny planner for that. And then I changed course this week on my daily and my, um, and in my life planner for um, the Black Lives Matter planner challenge. Um, so I have this week, um, the week of the 8th and 14th, the upcoming week in black and white. Uh, but I wanted to keep my month at a glance using my nautical ocean mermaid theme. I also have some stickers from Design Lovely Plans. They're also, um, or Design Lovely Studio. They're also on Etsy and I'm not sure if I'm going to use these or not. Um, I always find that I don't have enough for the right stickers for, um, the notes and dashboard page so I just wanted to have some extras and I think this is actually a weekly kit so I'm going to set this aside for another use but um so I've got these ready to go I've got enough choices of washi tape to last me the rest of my life um of course I have lots of simply gilded choices and it's just a matter of deciding um what matches best I will not be using those palm trees they they're not going to be opened um <laughs> I'm hoarding all the palm tree washi but uh you never know. We'll see, but I don't think I'm going to open it. But I've got just a lot of different colors that go with the whole mermaid theme. Um, so we'll see what gets used for this spread. And then I've got some stickers. These are Paper Studio. And I've been saving this uh, for this month. So I've laid down um, some of the numbers in advance in the interest of time. And... Um, I didn't lay down the first row because I wasn't sure where the header was going to hit. So we will start there. And to make it easier, I'm going to fold this in half. And then we will go back in and put those additional numbers in. I had this kit for my daily planner as well, um, but I went with something else for June. I forgot that I had it and um, I purchased another kit that could not be changed. I feel like I can change this because it doesn't already say June on it. The one that I purchased was a was not a printable and it came um, directly to me with the month already on it for June. And so I went ahead and used that instead and I can use this printable anytime. So 
once winter comes along and I'm still wishing it was summer, that will probably be a good time for me to use it. Okay, so we're going to put the rest of these numbers down. And it's always fun to try to lay these on straight. I wait to put the top row down until I get the header because I'm never quite sure exactly where it's going to hit. And I don't want to not have enough room or to have a gap in between the number and the header. So the month at a glance is fairly straightforward. I am going to I'm going to use this down the side. This is too long, so let me think about that. I'll use this little washi strip across the bottom. It's always fun trying to lay these things down straight. Okay, so I have to decide. This is very crooked. I don't know that I'm going to be able to fix it. Um, okay. Bear with me. I swear I'm not a perfectionist, just when it comes to my planners. All right, so now we've got that fixed. Like it was super crooked. So I want to cover up these and here we go. use this other little washi strip here to go across the bottom of this side. All right, there you have it. Let's see. So I've got since that's my birthday, we've got to make sure we recognize it. I've got a couple of different options here for this square up here and this one down here. So um, I'm going to use this purple one down here. So one of the things about me is I, I like my month at a glance to just be the month 
that I'm in. So I am in the month of June. I don't want to look at back at May. I don't want to look back at um, or look forward at July. Um, so I cover up as best I can uh, any previous or forthcoming month so that I just really can focus on what I want to focus on. And this is a good example of why I don't like to put the numbers down if there's going to be something in the square because it's covering it up. All right, so there we go. That is our month at a glance. I am going to, because, um, you know, life consists of staying in the house and not going anywhere and doing anything. So I'm going to take some of these uh, mermaids and I am going to use them um, here down the left side because Saturday and Sunday are basically canceled until further notice. So I'm gonna put her down here. And then there are some seashells and things. Let me just put a few of those down as well. And there's some bubbles. Now this kit did come with um, some scripts for the month. Um, I didn't like the font, so I am going to use my own, which I just printed um, some various fonts out. Um, I could either use this purple June, which matches the numbers, or I can use this orange June, which would really pop, but I think I'm going to use the purple. And we'll just stick this right up here on top. It's not the exact same color. Doesn't, doesn't match perfectly, but it looks all right. It's a little crooked, but we shall live. Okay, so that is June. I am going to put down Kate holiday stickers. So I am going to use these to put down summer beginning on the 20th. And we will get it straight. Okay. So we've got that, and then I'm not going to put anything else down. I mean, I recognize, I think Father's Day is the 14th or the 21st. It said the 14th, and I whited it out, but something else said the 21st in another calendar that I had. Um, but everybody that I would celebrate Father's Day with has passed, and so I am just going to leave it. Um, I am going to add for my birthday. Oh, I think I actually used all the stickers, so I'll come back to that later. So this is going to be my month at a glance. Um, I don't have anything to plan for the month and 
Um, I apologize for the shadow there. Let's see if I can fix that. All right, it's a little bit better. Okay, I'm not going to be able to exactly get it to go away because it's my camera. So anyway, um, so this is my month at a glance and I'm still trying to get it to go away. Yeah, not happening. Okay. So this is my month at a glance for June for the dashboard. I typically will cover up most of this. And so I don't use it in this way. Let's go back and let's take a look at May. Um, so this was how I used it. And I put some goals over here on the left. That shadow is horrible. Okay. Sorry. Bear with me for one second. All right. It's a little bit better. All right. So um, I, um, liked the goals page that I did last month, and I think I would like to do something similar this month. And then this is always just sort of a work in, in progress. So, um, we'll see. Um, so we've got these stickers. Here. This is part of the notes kit that matches. And one of my pet peeves has been that these stickers do not fit with all of the boxes over here. But so far, we're looking like we're going to be good this month. Um, I've bought some kits for the notes page, and they were really not made for the notes page. We'll do the habit tracker. No, we're not going to do the habit tracker because we don't track habits in here. So we will do this, which I think is going to be too short. No, I think it'll fit just right. Okay, that makes me happy. So we can just have a pretty picture down there. All right. So, see, I have nothing for this area. Like, the kit <laughs> is incomplete. And, you know, I have this, but it doesn't... It's, it's still nautical-ish, but it's not mermaid-ish. And so, this is my struggle. And I need to cover up the, um, June. So, kit designers, hear me, please. Make a kit for this page that, like, works. I'm going to use this to cover up the June. And see, everything else had like rounded corners. Oh my God, it's so annoying. I'm going to put my other June sticker here. While I'm thinking about how to fix this up, let's flip over to this side. So over here I'm putting, um, there was a long washi strip that is 
perfect for like a header. I wish it had come with two because then I could put one on each on the bottom as well, but that's okay because I have a ton of washi. And actually, I can use this strip on the bottom. So that is the side, which I think I've done pretty good in using up these stickers. See, there's some little things on here like me time, crafty time, lunch date movies, recycle day. Um, I'm not going to use those. For this purpose, this sheet I've pretty much used all of. This sheet I've pretty much used all of. I have some boxes down there. And then this is what I have left for the notes. So, like, I can do... Um, I will use this goals here. And I will use, see, no, this is big, so I'm going to switch that if I can get it off of here. This page is always a challenge for me. Like, the, the people who glue them together, I'm not mad at you at all, because it is so hard to work around these boxes without covering up the whole page. Okay, so... This is where I guess I will... I'm gonna use a little bit of washi and um, I'm gonna cover up this little bottom. This washi is super cute with this kit. And I think what I will do is use this. That color is not going to work. So we'll use this one. This is like an ombre. And I'm just creating sort of like a border to get rid of these lines. And we will white out the word birthday. And in here we'll put these circles so we have gratitude and important. Even though I already have a goal, the only other option is events, and events are basically canceled, so um, we will use the goals, which is, in my opinion, redundant. Let's see if I can move this down. Okay. All right, so that's that page. Yay! And again, I apologize for the shadow over here. Okay, so on this side, what I'm going to do is I am going to, again, use some washi. And in this case, I'm going to use this blue. And I'm going to create a border.
And like I had in last month, I had um, May goals. I'm going to do June goals over here, which, again, I've got goals going on all over the place. And so, you know, what I think I may do is instead of this saying goals here, I'm going to pull that sticker up and put... I'm going to tear this sticker up is what I'm going to do. I don't know if it will be salvageable, but... Okay, so I'm going to use notes instead. And that can be a place for, like, brain dump. And then what I am going to do is use the Happy Planner sticker book um, Colorful Boxes. And I'm going to put some, we'll do these blue colored boxes. So I used them almost all the same size last month. So I'm just going to put down about four of them. I don't want to have a ridiculous amount of goals for the month. But then I will do some business goals as well down at the bottom. And I will use the screen color. We'll do three business goals. stickers so here's my June goals sort of continue to have that mermaid theme. And this is also, this was a printable from um, Design Lovely Studio. So the kit that I used came from Beautiful Planning. And that is that shop. 
Um, I showed you one at the beginning of the video that was from Design Lovely Studio. I actually did not end up using any of that, but these goal stickers are also from Design Lovely Studio, and this is a um, printable. So I'm going to do this business goals sticker and um, just add that right here at the bottom. So I've got that there. And I'm going to add in another one of these mermaid stickers here. All right, so I love how that is looking. These are really fun to pull off of here. Okay, and things I learned today that if I film late in the day as the sun is setting, you get a horrible shadow, but it looks like it has moved on, so that's good. All right, so this is it for these two pages. I'm not going to do anything else to these. I am loving the way it looks. I even like this orange because it makes it pop there. And um, going back to the June month at a glance, um, one of the things I want to add on is uh, my payday for one. So I'm paid once a month. My payday in June is on the 30th. And the kit did include some payday stickers. So we will put that down. Okay, and then um, I also like to do the moon. So we have a full moon on, I think it's June 5th. We've already had it. Um, if anybody's wondering why I track that, because people act crazy on a full moon, including myself, full-blown Gemini, and I like to be in tune with what is going on in the world and with me. Um, new moon on the 21st, so we got that. Then we have... Um, I don't put my side hustle paydays down just in case I don't work them, but I will put down recycle because I always forget to take my recycle cans out. So it is good to remind me. I'm running low on recycle stickers. Hopefully there's another sheet because those choices suck with this color scheme. And these um, little recycle stickers are from Lexington Flare on Etsy. Not looking too good. Oh, here we go. All right, so we will, all the purple ones are gone, so we'll use um, the blue. And we have recycle on the 10th and 24th. I'm going to move this payday sticker over because it looks weird to me. So I'm going to move it maybe
Oops, moving it to the opposite corner. All right, so. I probably truly do not need any more stickers on here, but. is it. This is June 2020 in the Erin Condren Life Planner. This is my month at a glance. Um, of course, life is canceled, so there's not much to plan. Looking forward to the first day of summer. I've already um, participated in National Donut Day. Um, trying to get the freebies as best I can for uh, my birthday month which is hampered a little bit due to a lot of things being closed, but making the best of it. So there's not a lot to plan, but I still like to have a beautiful spread to look at. And so this is my notes page, and I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. If I were to go back and do it again, probably wouldn't put the June up here, but I'd put something else there. But um, the kit did not really include anything to cover up every box on this page, and so I had to do something to make this area here work. Um, and so this is what we are left with. And then on this side, I've created a goal planning page, which is, I did that for the first time in the month of May, and I really like the way that it turned out, so I want to continue to do that every month. And so that gives me um, a blank canvas to work on this page and sort of just design it how I see fit, however works best for me. And so I probably will be doing that from here on out. Anyway, if you're still with me, thank you so much for joining me today. I had all these rolls of washi tape out and I did not use them all. I only used two of them, but I told you I would not be opening up my palms um, because it's so pretty I just want to hoard it but um, actually I use three three different colors but um, I always like to be prepared and plan in advance so that's what I've got for you for the month of June I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some planning ideas please remember to like this video um, and subscribe and feel free to comment below I always try to answer um, questions and comments and if there's something in particular that you'd like to see or an idea you have to share I look forward to that as well thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time bye